Hey guys, it's Jackie with Intoxicating Arts, and today we'll be making a baby shower card for one of my best friends. I'll be using Lawn Fun Papers, a Lawn Fun Stamp, Intoxicating Arts Luster Mica Powder in the color Blue Ice. I'll be using one of our new stencils. This one is called Staggered Lines, which you can kind of see it's etched into there. And I'll be using Liquitex Gloss Super Heavy Gel with the Mica Powder through the stencil. I'll also be using a cosmetic sponge so I can put it around the edges and probably some rhinestones or pearls, um, just any manufacturer you want to use. And this mica powder is one of those ones that shows up a lot more vibrant on a dark background, but I don't want the background to be too busy and this color actually barely shows up on white so it's just going to be that little hint of shimmer with some texture coming through the staggered lines so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the background and in case you're curious the papers that I'm using this is called pint sized patterns and it's beach it says beachside and then whirlpool and here's the other side we'll probably use a little bit from both sides on one of these. This one is called Tropical Waters and here's what the other side looks like. So it's all going to be blue and white and then uh, the stamped image will probably be black. So it's pretty, um, I guess, monotone you could call it. And let's see here. So I need to get my little acrylic thing, or not acrylic, my silicone mixing pad that I like to use and a little bit of the blue ice I'll need my palette knife and my Liquitex gloss super heavy gel I think I like this one the most but I'm not sure yet but I do really like it so I need to find a palette knife this one will do they're always really dirty in my craft room. And I'll just take some of this. I don't really know how much I'm going to need, but I do have my jars that I can store whatever is left over in. This color right here is called Grandma Nut. It's one that I really like, so I mixed up a lot of it and put it in a storage jar. And I also have smaller storage jars, which I have not posted for sale. They are really similar to these but they are with a white cap and they're kind of semi-opaque I guess they're still transparent but yeah so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there I didn't even get any up that second time okay hold on one second I'm just gonna go turn that radio down Okay, I got that fixed, so I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this up. So I got a nice amount of that mixed up there. And I have a four and a quarter by five and a half card base, and I'm going to work directly on the card base, which I know a lot of people won't do. Let's see if I can find a piece of tape here. I'm just going to use some washi tape to order this off. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half, so I could just perfectly put it on there and get the background like that. But what I'm going for is having these lines in the part of the background you see like around maybe in here and a little on the sides so I'm just gonna move it around as I go um, that's kind of what I envisioned when I made this stencil was it could be one of those stencils where it doesn't really matter where you put it it's gonna look pretty cool so go ahead and put some down here And then I'm going to move it over. Do you see how crisp and nice that looks? And it's super easy. I'm just going to zoom in on it really quick. You see the results of that? It's really 
Very nice. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish up. And you can move this around. This is actually a really fun stencil to use. You can do crisscross things. Not so much with the texture like this, but with like distress inks. But I'm just gonna keep it going here. And it's actually easier to continue it when you have part of it dry, because then you can just kind of put it over there and gauge. It's really fun with distress inks because those dry so fast. But I'll probably have paper covering that anyways, so I'm just gonna put it really close to the edge of that and continue my design. Okay, I wanna carefully move that. Do have a little bit of extra over here, but I might use that on the paper later. Move this aside and I'm gonna kind of build the rest of my card. All right, so now I can move on to the next part, which is cutting these down to get my uh, rectangles. And I'm gonna need a total of three of them. One of them is going to be wide and not quite as long as the other one. So I'm gonna start off with that one and then gauge the other ones off of it because I don't know what um, lengths I'm looking for here. And I think I'm gonna have the darkest one in the back which would be any of these. I kind of like the stars. I'll do the stars in the back. So, let me get my paper trimmer. Okay, two and a quarter. So this will be four and a quarter. Okay, so again, that was four and a quarter by two and a quarter for one of them. Okay, so I found this paper, which is actually from a, another, a different Lawn Fun stack. It's from their Christmas one. And I'm thinking if I ink it up just a little bit, it'll kind of blend in a little better with these. So I'm going to grab one of my Tim Holtz inks. Well, actually, let me cut it down first, and then I'll see if I'm right. I'm going to try to ink this up and see if I can get it to kind of match those colors a little better. So I'm going to get out my Tim Holtz Peacock Feathers because that's kind of a bluish green. And we'll see what we can do. So I have my sponge daubers here. I think this one's Peacock Feathers. And I'm going to ink around it to see if I can kind of just make it a little more blue looking. That should work. Okay, so I'm done with the peacock feathers. I can put my sponge dauber away. I can close the box and I will move on with the other thing that I wanted to do, which I wanted to take my cosmetic sponge and sponge the edges with my mica powder that was mixed with the Liquitex. So I wasn't originally planning on inking anything. I was just going to use this on my edges and I took forever. So it's like kind of drying out here but I might be able to do it still. I haven't done this before, but I'm just kind of looking for like a shimmer line on the edges, just a hint of it.
So let me show you what I mean about these edges that I'm trying to do since this one's kind of dry. So you can see it just has that nice hint of shimmer on it. It just gives it a little bit more interest and I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm trying to show you, see? A little bit of shimmer. Okay, so those are done. I'm waiting for this other, the last one to dry. I think it's getting there. Can move on to stamping my sentiment, which is just going to be really plain. I'm not going to put any shimmer or anything. And it says, Hello, baby. So it's from that stamp set, which we do carry in the store if you're curious. And you know, I think I'll do the little heart here. Hello, baby, with a heart. Oh, I have a rattle. Do a rattle. You gotta do the rattle instead of a heart. Yeah, I'll do hello baby and I'll put a rattle on the front of it, I guess. So I just need to find some paper and then I can stamp it. So this is kind of a big banner, but that's fine. And I think... I probably should have not put my sponge dauber away because I'm going to do the edges of this. But I'm going to do it very lightly. So I might not even need to put more ink on it because I just want to like, just like a little hint. Not go in so far. Little tiny hint. Maybe a little tiny bit more on the tag part. There. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, well, she'll still love me. I'm just kind of doing it a little more on that part. There you go. Yeah, I think I like that. That looks good. Okay, I don't want to do it too much because there's already a lot going on. So that will stand out really nicely because of that. And then I just need to check on this. So let me show you what it looks like now. Check out that shimmer. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. So when you just hold it like that, it looks like nothing. And then it's like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> so I don't think this is dry. You know what? It's actually dry enough to mount things onto it. Okay, let me see. Am I missing anything? I did my background. I got... Oh, I was going to do a water wash and flick mica, but I don't want to now because I put other things on these. I was going to do it on this. These are cool, as they are. So I'm going to start assembling this and figuring out what I'm going to do. So it's supposed to be this one. Wait. No. That one goes in the back, and I want to cover that, so it just looks like it continues. So we covered up most of this, but that's okay. There's a little bit poking down there. So that's going to go back there, and then we'll have... I did that backwards. <gasps> did I do the wrong side of this one? Oh well, whatever. They're all going to be dark. <laughs> No, wait, I did the right side. Never mind. Where is my brain? Okay. So I'm going to actually mount these together and then I will stick them on there. So I like this. So I will stick it down. On that side. And this is 
isn't going in the mail and I, I think it'll hold together just fine with that much tape. Okay, so then it will go there. I think I'm gonna pop it up. So we'll get some pop dots on here. Right, so it'll go on here. And then the last one is supposed to be in the middle. You're supposed to be able to see a little bit of that one peeking out, but I don't think it's gonna happen. One right here and then the sentiment which is huge I should have looked at what it looked like on the card but oh well um, I think what I'm gonna do really quick is actually put a little bit of dimension on this which I will use this clay tool and I'm just going to like that and then the other thing I want to do is go like this so just making it more banner like kind of pushing while I'm turning Kind of pushed a little too much on that one. Put a crease in it. A little too curved. There you go. All right, so that one's gonna have a little bit of dimension, but I'm gonna use, oops. I'm going to use um, probably a glue dot for that. It's supposed to be a little higher, actually. So I think I'll put it right there. I'm going to glue dot. Okay, I like that. And then the last thing is just doing some embellishments. So let me do that really fast. And if my memory runs out and my video cuts off, just know that uh, I'll put pictures in.